Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is chapter one of Pitchers and Catchers, um, another lesson learned, uh, lessons learned between that connection of communication that people don't um, normally have unless you've been a pitcher or a catcher. Um, I long time ago was a catcher um, playing softball in high school and um, the relationship that you have with the pitcher is so connected. It's like they're one in the same and they can kind of think um, with each other, you know, like there's so much communication going on non-verbally. Um, now they have in baseball, they have like, um, mics and, and earpieces and things like that. But we didn't have that, um, when we were, when I was playing and, um, yeah, it was, it was just an amazing experience. I think everybody, every kid should either be a pitcher or a catcher. And the pitcher is not like the star of the show. Um, really, the catcher is the star of the show because that is the communication, the communication base. The, um, you know, they have to have that interaction with each other of, okay, this is, you know, a certain type of hitter this is the type of pitch that she needs this is the call we're making um and of course you know the coaches have a lot to do with that but um i just remember in high school um having such an amazing time with my uh pitcher um because she was such a great a great individual um and Oh, I just miss those, you know, I kind of miss those days of, you know, we got this, we can do this, you've got this, you, and, and usually the pitcher takes all the credit, and the catcher is kind of like left to say, well, I'll get them out at home plate, um, and the rare occasion when there's a collision at home plate or something like that, um, I kind of enjoyed being that person to say, you can't get past me. You can't stop. I can I can stop this from happening. I can get this person out before they get to home plate. Um, it was a lot of fun. And, oh, it's warm in here. Oh, uh, it's so hot <laughs> at this time of the summer. Um, and it's really humid in here and our air conditioning isn't working. Um, yet we're going to try to get it working tomorrow. So, um, yeah. So I was thinking about pitchers and catchers, um, that, that bond between the two, that communication between the two of them. Um, it's a pretty special, uh, thing that is hard to describe and hard to explain. Um, yeah, but it's just an amazing experience. If ever you have children or, oh, sorry. Really? Oh, boy. Mm. She wants to play. Yes. So, um, if ever you have children that want to be a catcher, I would say let them, you know, experience that, that magic between a pitcher and a catcher. Yes, it's hard on your knees. Yes, it's hard on your body. Yes, it's hard on your shoulders because you're constantly throwing to second base. Um, but boy, is it a magical experience. So, all right. So these are the Healing Spirit Oracle Cards by Gordon Smith. And they look like this. And this is the the rosary that came together magically, um, miraculously, and um, I always kind of put those two together now um, because um, I was in a place that was just so dark and so sad and so lonely, and um, when these broke into pieces, uh, these beads broke into pieces, 
I was shattered. I was just shattered. And um, now that they've come back together as one, magically, I, miraculously, I don't know how it happened. Um, I keep them with me all the time. They are me. I was broken. And something put me back together again. And that's what these beads represent to me. Oh, shoot. There's two that dropped. Sorry. Oh, there were three that dropped, so we'll pick another one. The intention I am setting for these cards oh, is to say... Um, Let's have that, sorry, uh, sweaty, really sweaty. Um, let's have that communication, that bond between two people. Just a pitcher and the catcher, you know, just God and me, just Mary and me, just Jesus and me, just my partner and me, um, my dog and me, whatever partnership you can find where it's like we know each other without even talking uh, to each other. We, we know each other without even um, communicating what we know. So, all right, and this is a card that I chose or that popped out and it says, send out help to others. And the book says, Send out help to others. You can feel vulnerable when those you know and love are in trouble or need help that seems beyond your abilities. This is a time to call out spirit, to hear, spirit healers and helpers and ask them to send love and compassion to those who cannot reach out. Uh, I'm sorry. For those you cannot reach or feel you don't have the power to fix. Spirit healers and helpers work on a different level, so trust them with this one. Neither distance nor time nor space can create a boundary when it comes to sending in the healing power of love. And remember, every prayer for others is blessed, is blessed by healing spirits. I like that. Every prayer for others is heard by um, healing spirits, blessed by healing spirits. So with this um, rosary bead that I have that is all together again, um, I'm sending out prayers to you, whatever prayers are in your heart. Say to yourself tonight or this morning or during the day or whenever it is that you feel that you're in a prayer um mode say lord or creator or whatever uh, you choose to say or even yourself you know within yourself i know that there's a problem and i know you have a solution and you are the solution to my problem just say that to yourself silently out loud um, on your pillow, in in tears, in the shower, um, just say, I know that there's this problem, and you have the solution to the problem, and you are the solution to the problem, and maybe I am the solution to the problem through you. Um, However you want to word it is fine by me. I don't care. But when you say, I have a problem, don't even have to say what the problem is. Just say, you know, I'm broken. I'm, I'm broken into pieces. And I know you have a solution. I know there is a solution to this problem. And I know you are the solution. And say that three times. And see what happens. All right, I hope you have a great day.